There's a lot of cooking channels on YouTube, but none are as skillful and just just great at ruining good meals as a Cooking with Jack show. So we're going to react to an old video of his called The Magic Bullet. Now, depending on who you're asking, you know, <laughs> what a magic bullet is, <laughs> you may get some varying answers. But uh, I think it's, it's like a, like one of those little mini, uh, the word is blender. The word is it's a little mini blender, like a little food process, like, you know. <laughs> Blender, blah, 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 blah. one of the famous videos that we've we've reacted to before is when he you know baked that raw chicken and ate it. This actually looks like it's cooked a little bit. Yeah, cooked right this. Oh, bro, it started bleeding. It started bleeding Ooh, when he put the bleed. fork in there. That oh was a good man, one. in the bag, the chicken mm, in a bag, yeah, the chicken bag. Yeah, yeah, yep. <laughs> but before we see, before we check out the video though, check out Dane on YouTube, uh, Buff Pro, and then check out the Toasty Games channel for some gameplay. Here's a clip. <laughs> Fence. <laughs> <laughs> we just got here. Wow. <laughs> Hilarious. Link in the description below. All right, let's get into this thing. With those cool graphics that you know he spent a lot of time. Episode 35. <laughs> I'll see if we got like the intro. Like I'm about to watch like a like a bad <laughs> Yeah, like a adult video, you know, it's got the big thing at the beginning. You're like, oh yeah. This is the episode you've been waiting for. You've been asking, mm, mm. or should I say, you've been nagging. Excuse oh. me. Whoa, hey, hold on a second there, Jack. All right. Whoa. First off, I didn't ask a request, and now I'm nagging you. Now it's a problem. Don't gas like yo, yo, me. Quit bothering Jack so much, Kenny. My bad. Yeah. You know, I've been I just, there's, I've been waiting all day. I've just bated breath. I, you know, wake up in cold sweats and like, God, I hope Jack reviews the magic bullet. Oh. <laughs> Finally, he's done it though. He's he's finally done it. My dreams have come true. It's called the magic bullet. So we're gonna take a look at that in a moment. But first, there's some things happening to the show. I wanna I wanna bring you up on. Number one, the show's coming out with a new channel. It's called Jack on the Go. Oh, Jack on the Go. Oh, is that still? How have I not heard of this channel yet? Well, hang on a second. Jack still going? Is he still going? Twelve days ago, he's still doing things. Oh, let's go. Yep, yep. All right, Jack. Well, he had a stroke. I don't know. Oh God. <laughs> What did, what did happen? To eat his own food? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Chicken in the bag. I ain't gonna lie, these oh. pizzas look jamming. Is this, is this uh -oh. him eating other people's food? That looks like that, that brisket he cooked that one time. Noah's <laughs> Ark. He, the Ark Encounter. Oh. He found it. He found the Ark. <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a whole, you know, ooh, we gotta dig through that at some point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's take a quick look at the infomercial and see how they made the omelet. All right, yeah. yeah. Okay, Throw it in there. Okay. Chunk it in, get some ham. Look at those big cubes of ham. I mean, I, I always eat, you know, how about, yeah. my ham comes in slices, mm. man, you know? Right, <laughs> the package. yeah. Off this on. <laughs> now watch. I'm chopping the ham and veggies, grating the cheese, and whipping the eggs all in three seconds. The machine that just made those smoothies for Berman and Fred will make an Is omelet it? for you, Ike. Ooh. Is that the whole thing? Now that you've well, seen it. They, they, they did an infomercial for that? I made a whole infomercial. How old is this? Oh, this yeah. is, okay, it's pretty old. All right, this is a this is a very old video. I was like, these things, I got I got, have like the the ninja brand of like this, right? Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, just like the that mini little beast. Yeah, it's just like little mini blenders. Yeah, like info infomercials use like the wild west of marketing, where it's like an idea that's kind of like no one's really getting behind, but it's still like all right, you know, usually. Yeah. You know, unless like the moon shoes, which, you know, they stopped making those because people kept <laughs> breaking they their ankles on them. They jumped to the moon. They jumped too high. <laughs> and they suffocated. That ain't their fault. <laughs> yep. There's all these kids floating in space right now because of moon shoes. They had discontinuum. What's really cool They've about this it. is this has little legs so it doesn't fall over while you're trying to put your eggs in there. Genius. Genius. Yeah, I love the design, you know. It's wow. not rounded so that it falls over. Great. The guy wanted everything in his, remember? So Still we're going to do sink. that. We're going to give him just what he asked yeah, he for. Did. Two eggs. All right. I would like you know, have my trash can nearby or something. You know, just throw the eggs in there. And then, you know, you turn the sink on and you, you know, the mandatory, you know, you just handle eggs. So you run the water and you just kind of like dip your finger and just rub them a little bit. You know? Yeah. Oh, Everybody yeah. Everybody does that. Yeah. yeah. One tomato. You got a, you got 48 tomatoes out there and he dropped one. All right. What? And let's put in a little bit of onion. Put in some onion there, mm -hmm. there and there. Okay. Looks Lost with onion. I don't like raw onion. Mm -mm. Oh man, mm -mm. I love onion. Mm. About raw onion. I need the. I don't know. I wish we talked about this before. I don't. I don't have any problem with like hardly any foods except for onion and like uh, shredded coconut. 
it's, oh, it's, it's like yeah. it, it's like it hides in the food and you don't know it's there. It's like a ninja until you get that crunch and then that flavor. And I'm not ready for it. Dude, that's how I feel about mushrooms. People are like, oh, you can't <laughs> even mushrooms. taste them. Bro, I taste the mushroom in there. It tastes like a mushroom. It tastes delicious. It tastes like a fungus. It is. And, you, oh, blah, blah. and you can also see it coming because it's like this big, dark, you know, usually yeah. <laughs> thing where like, you know, onions are still good. It's just, <clears throat> I don't like the, I don't like big chunks like that. I don't like to get it and be like, ah. and just get nothing but onion. You know, I like, I like to be very finely chopped and like to be. Oh, you like the, the little crystals off the, like the, the McDoubles. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. That's, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. But if it's like a big chunk <laughs> of onion, boy, uh, I don't like it. So I, I think this is some childhood trauma, Dane. I told you the story too. I'm going to tell it again. <laughs> so my, my grandma, she, she, you know, she always bakes and stuff and she would make, uh, these like Reese balls. It'd be like the the inside of the Reese's pieces, and then like cover it like drizzle chocolate all over it to be a ball. And they're delicious. I freaking smash them all the time. Okay. As she got older, they got drier, and they're not as good as they used to be. But you know, when she was in her I prom, know. ooh, yeah, <laughs> those are good. Yeah, can't beat uh, them. Yeah, and then I don't know. She just got the wild hair one year to start making coconut balls. Also, so she'd get like the ball of coconut, drizzle the chocolate on there, oh, put no. it in with the other ones. No. Well, you can't even distinguish them. Yeah, so here I am, oh. you know, my little you know, 10 year old self. Yeah, Grandma. Oh, I love these are my favorite thing ever. Oh, I love you so much, Grandma. <laughs> and then just confusion <laughs> and shock. The, the the biggest event in my childhood trauma history. All of a sudden, you're mad about the socks you got for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe I'm telling Grandpa right now. <laughs> and I was just. <laughs> spit it out and of course they're like Why, what do you spit that out for what are you wasting that food for you know so i'm getting in trouble also while also being betrayed <sighs> never get over it man unfortunate i know unfortunate I'll never forget anyway screw onion you're watching the cooking with jack show we'll be right back right after this message hey how no. you doing jack <laughs> scalfani here to no tell way. you about no he's got his own no. commercials in here or is it a spoof what is this my line of sauces it's called the best barbecue sauce you'll oh, ever taste. It is a, it's so good. We made a hot one. Wow. It's, it's so good. We made two. There it is. Wow. If that's not good enough, we made the best teriyaki Don't sauce. Worry, there's look. room for two more over here oh, at least. Yeah. Maybe three. Bam. Bam. Teriyaki better, sauce. We just released the oh. best gourmet seasoning ever And the best gourmet seasoning. Wait, was it? Wow. Was it? See, asinine. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> about to get poisoned? What is this? <laughs> asinine. Guarantee. We Jack is on the go. Anywhere in the United free States. Free shipping. Go to thebestsauces.com. I'll be nah, there. I don't trust free shipping, you know. Hit us with a call now. Order now. Oh, <laughs> please hit us with an order now. <laughs> and now. Uh, and now we're back. All right, we're back. Dude, okay. I went down a little rabbit hole the other day. It was talking about marketing and, like, the psychology of marketing. Uh, I was telling Mary about this too, you know, you know how it is. You like watch something that you just info dump your wife and they're like, uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah oh, great. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty much that. Um, let's talk about the placement of stuff. Like the things you always want, like the, the best popular items are in the center, like at eye level. So you see them and the things that don't make, they don't have much margin they're at the bottom, like probably with cooking, cooking with Jack sauce. They're probably down at the bottom. If those are in stores <laughs> are too, yeah. too high up to where you're not looking where the pink sauce is. And it was, it was, it was talking about how, like, when you're, when you're nice and rested, when you're, when your brain is like on, then, you know, you need to eat healthy. So you'll make healthy choices. So when you walk in, it's like your Walmart or whatever, like you, it's on one, it's, it's always on one side, the left or right side, because we also like, as humans, we like to go around the wall. Like that's our preferred way to go. Or like, <laughs> I forget what they yeah. call it. Wall bearing creatures or something like that. You don't go into the center where all the junk is. That's for later. You go to the sides where you got your pharmacy on one side usually, and then you got your vegetables and you know you like your your healthier stuff right there. At the very end, we're all like the candy bars and like the very highly marked up items. You know, like the two dollar Snickers bar that cost them like you know twenty cents to buy or whatever. That's at the <laughs> end when you're like you're you're mentally more tired than you were when you came in, and you're more likely just to like make those impulse buys. Ooh, right. I didn't realize that. You're right. And like, um, I'm, I'm I'm mentally checked out at that point. I've already made all my decisions. Yeah, you're like, all right, cool. Now I want to treat myself. There's there's psychology to all of it. <laughs> and I, it's, wow. I always thought it was like a conspiracy thing, but like that is the the older I get, the more I look and go, you know, it's it's true. And then you think of like online shopping. Yeah, I can shop online. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. 
where it's actually even worse because they can like feed you directly the stuff they want you to buy <laughs> instead of like giving you all the options that you can look at right yeah. uh, and then if there's a review added to something like if it's got like four out of five stars <clears throat> or even like three out of five stars you're more likely to buy the one that has reviews than one that hasn't been reviewed yet you're not wrong yeah you'll just you'll just buy that one because it has reviews even if they're real or not it doesn't matter wow. uh it's the same thing with the pink sauce we like we did the pink sauce video and they had like all the everyone had their their coupons or whatever to get free stuff to go review it to pump that, up the reviews yeah, and you know people will buy it more. okay yeah you know? that makes mm -hmm. sense now and then they also do the thing at the bottom where it's like people that got this item also got this and then you'll look right. at those because they're they are, they are similar to kind of like the idea that you're looking for and you know oh, other people got these it doesn't work 100 percent of the time but it works because i know it works on me <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i've shared you my my info dump and i thought it was interesting it was it all came That's crazy it all come from like i don't know if it all came from it but like one of, one of their their major psychological tests they did was they made people memorize numbers and make them, you know, people, <laughs> people, they like, all right, memorize numbers. And they range from like one digit to like seven digits. And what they had found was that the people that only had to remember like one number, the reward at the end, you could pick like fruit or cake. Almost all the people that only had like one number picked fruit. And all the people that had to like remember like seven numbers and walk to the end of the hallway and repeat those numbers, almost all of them pick cake because wow. they were like mentally more mentally fatigued is what they what they came to a uh, uh that's, again th that's interesting this is just the videos i watched i don't know if any of that's actually true but sounds pretty legit <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right anyway, back to cooking with jack or whatever he's doing here here's what i want to show you okay this is jesus christ it cooking inside yet how many eggs did he put two eggs in there's no way that's two eggs bro dude <laughs> what happened to this thing how did it get so big and why is it is it burnt i think i know i'm burning the bottom of this already yeah so i'm taking it out now but i mean it's not even fully cooked on the inside flip it over it doesn't cook well so wait, wait, gonna... what Bro. you're blaming the slap chop thing over there because it's not <laughs> because you didn't flip it <laughs> <laughs> Wow, bro. Some, yeah, okay, oh. all right. What a what a leap of logic right there. You know, I really jacked up these eggs, and I'm going to blame the magic bullet for it because it chopped them up. <laughs> yeah, the magic bullet, yeah. <laughs> right, that's a slap chop, my bad. <laughs> How could the magic bullet do this? I guarantee we've already burnt the outside. And look, it's runny on the inside and burnt on the outside. Dude, just that. flip it over. Why are you trying to act like the magic bullet did this? <laughs> the magic bullet set the temperature, all right? It probably put the eggs in while it was, the pan wasn't even hot. Like, what, what happens when he makes his own omelet, you know, like chops up the ingredients and stirs it up with like a fork and then throws it in there. Does it, does it magically not burn then because it's, the consistency's Jeez. different? I don't know, what, what's the angle here? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It blended really well. All right, I consider that a fail. I don't like that at all. Bro, whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, first off, I like my eggs a little bit runny anyway, so it didn't uh -huh. look that bad. Mm. Uh, but daring, Jack, that's that's. Mm, he's stretching. That's some mental yoga. I'm surprised they didn't like <laughs> come <laughs> come after for some damages. Like, dude, you just straight up lied about that, dude. That thing didn't have anything to do with you cooking that. It's like it's like <laughs> was he playing like a raw chicken from that other video because like the oven was malfunctioning or something? I don't know. Like, Jeez. <laughs> it was the seasoning. Yeah, the seasoning did it, yeah. Throw about five or six cherry tomatoes in there. Tomatoes. All right. A little bit of garlic. Thing of garlic. Ta-da. Throw in an onion. A little bit of onions. In fact, I'll, I'll help it along. Oh, thank you. I, I was about to say, bro, break that up. Jeez. <laughs> Please. A little bit of jalapeno. Big old piece of jalapeno. A little bit of cilantro. A little cilantro. Dude, what is it? Okay, I was going to say what this about is the freaking... What proportions? The, the, the freaking inf infomercial wherever we're watching, they said the same thing. A little bit of cilantro. It takes like a fistful and throws it in there. A little bit of cilantro. Does it taste like soap to you or does it taste like a, a good, I don't know, <laughs> like what the other thing is? I think it's the other thing. To me i mean it does I, have I a little like bit cilantro, of cilantro so yeah I, I i do like cilantro too I, but i do i can understand the yeah. soapy yeah uh, comment you know because 
that like aftertaste it, it has, that, you can you can still see it. A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I can I can get that a little bit, but I I definitely love cilantro in my salsa, mm-hmm. and pico de gallo is key. Yep, yep. And then you, you throw a little bit in there. I expect this one to pass. All right, he expects this, this one. Let's see how it goes. Salsa. It just put enough tomato this in. Works. Yeah, all the tom- <laughs> hope the tomatoes get chopped up and then we just go spin around in there. Here we go. Let's see. He did it for three seconds. Here we go. One, two. two. Yeah. Okay. It's getting chopped. Yeah, up. Be. And yeah, that's a quick third one. But yeah. All right. There it is. Doesn't look like his, does it? He put more tomatoes in his. He put he, five. It's true. He does have like more moisture because he put like five tomatoes in there. Why doesn't that look the same? I don't get it. I use the exact same stuff she no, did. I did not use the exact same ingredient. I, I, man, I hate Jack. Look, there's even garlic in there that's not even broken up. But the, la- the last the last one the dude did was a kind of a long one second. Your last one was like, boop. <laughs> he just got touched the top right. of it. You're like, well, it's not the same. I don't understand. That's so weird. It's crazy. Look how terrible this product is. Jack's so mad when he could just put it back on there for another two seconds, man. It's over with, dude. Like, push the button again, <laughs> Jack. It's okay. How is he trying to make it look bad so that, you know, his shout out to his sauce looks better? Because right. th- this is this is bad for branding. You know, companies, you know, they do their research. And like, you know, if you're dogging everything that you come across, then <laughs> they don't have to pretend that stuff's good. But you don't gotta, <laughs> yeah, you don't have to pretend that thing is good, but you don't got to go out of your way to like be like, it's so bad. Like if I went and played, if I went in like every video game I played, uh, like when I did gaming, I'd just be like, everything sucks, which I do on the Toasty Games channel, actually, because we play a lot of really, <laughs> really terrible horror games. But that's like the joke, right? But like if you're genuine, and you just like hate everything, then... Of course, a, a company that's coming out with a brand new game isn't going to send it to you, you know? They're like, well, we no, don't want that guy over here because he's going to dump on it the whole time. This looks nasty. We're going to show you what it looks like. Jack. <laughs> oh, 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 he's aware. Oh, right, oh, oh. Yeah. there we go. Yeah, but it still didn't what? It still scroll down. Come on, look at but that. But it still didn't what? That didn't even look like. But it still didn't. What, blend? Because you freaking barely let it go? No seasoning, no spices. Cilantro's on it. It's fine. <laughs> really hot. That was a lot of hope. Anyone there? That was a big old jalapeno piece. That's right. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Woo. Okay. Hey, why well, is he acting like he just ate like some mayonnaise or something? This is like the spiciest thing in the whole world, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. It tastes nasty. All it tastes. How? Oh, my. No, because his ratios are awful. It is the magic bullet's fault. <laughs> it burnt the <laughs> eggs and it made all of these natural ingredients taste bad also. <laughs> all right, garlic. I want to see if this thing even works. So I'm going to do exactly what they recommended. We're going to... He's a- he's actually going to do what they recommended one time? All right, yeah, let's, let's see. Wow. It. All right, he did, he did at the beginning. He did with the egg. He just sucked at cooking it. <laughs> let's see if this thing even works for just simple garlic. Right, one, garlic. Drop that garlic up. Two. Two. Three. Oh, there we go. Finally got a good one on the last one. God. One, two. You know, he's, he's hitting this thing like they hit the the button, you know, on, on that show that we watch. Just yeah, bam, yo, just, for know, real. With speed. <laughs> Boop. Well, that looked like the infomercial. <laughs> yeah. He let it run a little bit. You know, it's kind of okay. how. Yeah. That. Just how it works. You know, it's it's not rocket, <laughs> it's not rocket surgery remember here. The, remember with the egg, he was just like, one Mississippi. To mm. Mississippi, dude, and then everything else is like tapping it, you know. Mm, mm. <laughs> I see why this video's got like a freaking million views because everyone else is like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> onion, can it handle the onion? Oh, Jesus, Jack, you broke it. I don't know what happened, but let's take a look. You didn't even right close here. it all the way. <laughs> okay, see that? Yeah, that looks good, but it's not. Can't even cut up an onion. Um... Jack's like over here pushing the button. See, look at that. It's, it's, oh wait, it's not plugged in. Oh, well, oh, you know, like but look, it's the magic bullet. This thing sucks. <laughs> breaking it over here, smacking it. You know, he's hitting it like the slap chop right now. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Cheese and jalapeno sauce. Let's see how this goes. We're going to do cheese. Whole Take cheese right here, okay? Put it in there. One in there, one in there. I'm not cutting anything up anymore. We mean it's already cut up. Oh, I can't even get it gosh. to chop up the other cheese. Yeah, because it's. Dr- it's cold, dry cheese. What is he? Is he wanting it to liquefy? What does he want from this thing, man? It literally just does what it's supposed to do. Like even cutting that cheese, like those cheese squares, like that with like a knife, like it's it's you gotta put some pressure on it. 
and it like sticks to the knife, you know, and like it's yeah. really gummy, you know. That's this is going in the microwave, right? Like, why is he? Why is he doing this? <laughs> I just go down and look at the comments real quick. Like, got it. Don't buy the magic bullet because it'll burn your omelet and make your salsa taste like the ingredients you put into it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I don't like the fact that as soon as you touch it, it locks itself. Really. It probably has a feature to where if you push it and spin it like you keep doing, it will lock in place so you don't have to keep the pressure on it the whole time, you know? <laughs> and then he like, pulls it out and you know, the, the freak, the, the, God. there's like the teeth on the bottom of it, they, they grab a hold of the mechanic spinning part, spinning part, so they have to line up. You can't just like smack him back on and expect him to just... Mm. It's like, dude, it's insane. I love to see him like drive a drive a stick shift car and just like grind the just the whole time. <laughs> hey, what, what a junky car, man! Yeah, this is why I don't buy Dodge. <laughs> I'm totally frustrated. Totally, Wait, me too, mess. man. I'm totally frustrated. Yeah, same. All right. Look, it can't even cut the cheese up. You know, what? I'm not even. Gonna it was do already it. cut up. Wow, that's all I can say. I've never been so frustrated on an episode as I am today. Me either. You know, the feeling's mutual there, homie. Is, mm. <laughs> but wow. I, I do appreciate that you went and cleaned it out before you fi filmed this whole scene. You know, it's nice and clean over there. No cheese <laughs> yeah. anymore. Give it, give it, how, what do you rate it? Don't buy it. I'm not buying it. In fact, I'm giving this one back to my dad. I'm glad I stole it from him. And he robbed his dad? Oh, he's going to jail. And he robbed his dad? Like, your dad <laughs> stole your magic bullet and broke it. Yeah, yeah broke it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, cheese and jalapenos don't turn into cheese dip in this thing, man. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and I spent 60 bucks on that. And don't even get me started on shipping. That's a whole nother topic. We will talk about that in another episode. But you had another episode. We'll come and You have the shipping episode? You got to talk about the shipping. You, kinda, you know, you get free shipping <laughs> on his barbecue sauce, though. Yeah, that's true. Look, man. <laughs> Jack, he seems like he can roll with the punches pretty well. Yeah, yeah. I, I love these shows like this where people are, like, doing cooking things. And it's just like, uh, you know, it's just so... It's easy to pick at it. Like, the awareness. Like, Hayes Cooking and the Cooking with Jack show. They have these subscribers but no one subscribes because they're good at cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, leave a comment. Do all that cool stuff. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. I hope you get a magic bullet for your birthday. <laughs> Stay toasty, my friends. We'll see you next time. I love you. Bye-bye. I got my girl one. Don't worry. <laughs>